let's be honest, Kelloland isn't exactly known for producing famous opera stars. But just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it won't. And the recent high school graduate we are sitting down with for today's Across the Table segment is hoping the next time someone mentions opera in Kelloland that it is his name, Adam Kentungi, that you instantly think of. Adam, what are you drinking in your cup today? I got an iced caramel latte with almond milk today. Okay, I love that because I also drink iced coffee. Yeah. And a lot of people think it's weird that I always drink iced coffee even in the winter, but yeah. I got another one on the same page as me, so I'm <laughs> glad about that. But all right, so Adam, you graduated from yep. high school yep. in May. Yep. And now you went off to New York for the summer where you're going to be heading back shortly, mm. and you're in opera. Yeah. Tell me how you got started with that. Just take me back to the beginning. Um, well, it started off with like my dad would always play this Calypso CD in the car and we'd, I guess that's where my love for music always started. It was always playing around the house. And then I guess he also played some classical music and that's how I got started in that. And I just stuck with it and I started voice lessons when I was in fifth grade. And then my love just kept growing and growing until it led me here, so. <laughs> so I have to ask, because when you listen to people sing opera, I mean, the voice, it's incredible. Yeah. How do you even do that? I mean, I think I would lose my voice if I tried. Yeah, um, it's a lot of training, a lot of support, um, but thankfully, the amazing teachers taught me my technique and they taught me how to not destroy my voice, yeah. but yeah. So growing up, you said you had a passion for this, but did you know that it was going to go as far as taking you somewhere after school? Um, I knew I always liked it, and I wasn't always sure that I wanted to do it after school, but I guess just my love for it just went far beyond. I couldn't imagine myself doing anything, anything else but singing. And being in New York. Yeah. So you're here, you're from here. Yes. South Dakota, born and raised. Mm -hmm and now you're pursuing your dream out in New York. So, I mean, so far, what has that been like? Um, it's been very eye-opening. Um, obviously, South Dakota is a lot smaller, and, um, but everyone out there is so supportive. And throughout my summer, I met amazing connections and lifetime friends, and I just made me so welcomed over there. So what do you hope to do now after you get done out in New York? Um, well, hopefully I'll continue my studies. I'll maybe go on to my master's degree, and then I hope to have a career and maybe one day start teaching, but I mainly want to keep singing yeah. as long as I can. You know, I wish I could just ask you to just give us a little taste of what you do, but we're in a coffee shop, so yeah. I feel like we might get a few strange looks if we start singing yeah. opera in here, but let's talk about what else you like to do for fun in your free time. Say you had a day that you had nothing to do, no obligations, what would you do for fun? Well, I'd probably go out with my friends to a place like Josiah's and talk, get some coffee, and I really like just having genuine conversations with my friends and get my mind outside of music a little bit since it consumes so much of my day. It's nice to have friends who are able to ground me and bring me back to real life <laughs> while I'm not singing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your family. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, my family, uh, my mom, works at Wells Fargo, and my dad works for a company called Ivesco, but I don't know how they got an opera singer out of that, <laughs> but it's beyond me. And yeah. I do have a brother out in Brooklyn, New York, so oh. I do have family out there, okay. so it's nice to have a piece of home. Yeah, so the, what took him out there? Um, he is a designer, so he does a lot of things with graphic design and is able to do kind of things that I could never imagine doing. <laughs> yeah. So what would you say is your guilty pleasure? Um, I feel like my guilty pleasure is what I do, because not a lot of teenagers can admit that they like opera. So when I hand my phone over to the car and my friend in the car to play music, there's all of the usual pop songs, but then they'll see Pavarotti or something like that on my phone. and so. I'm not ashamed of it, but it's what I do. 
So what would you say is your favorite hobby? And I know that you're saying that yeah. you love, obviously, opera singing, mm -hmm. but besides that, what would you say is your other favorite hobby? Um, my favorite hobby would probably be hang, like just hanging out, get, like I said, getting coffee with my friends. Um, I love um, just listening to music as well, not just singing it, um, but it's nice to get a fresh ear of what other people have to say with their voices, and that inspires me so much to do what I do. What do you do to get rid of stress? Um, probably just talk to my parents, maybe hang out with my dog, um, just get my mind off of things for a little bit. Um, and, and it's hard with the crazy lifestyle, but yeah. um, I'm thankful for my family and my friends who are able to calm me down a little bit when I send them a panic text that I'm so nervous that I'm about to perform, but they're always there for me. So what do you do to get rid of those nerves? Um, usually, I, I use the nerves to help me in my performance. Um, if I'm not on my toes, then I feel like I might be a little bit too relaxed, um, and then I won't be able to give out a good performance, but I get rid of that nervousness by, again, the people that surround me. And I'm so lucky to have them. What is one thing that people here in Kelowland don't know about you? A surprising fun fact. I guess you wouldn't be able to tell that I'm an opera singer, but that's obviously what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. um, but That is true. Yeah. If we didn't tell people that you were an opera singer, they wouldn't know that. Yeah, and I get that a lot, where it's like, oh, you're a singer? Yeah. Uh, they never really expect to hear opera singer, um, but yeah. yeah. Well, you're doing great, and good luck to your future endeavors. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for meeting me here today. Thank you. Be sure and stop by Josiah's Coffee House, Cafe, and Bakery the next time you're in downtown Sioux Falls. They're located at 101 West 12th Street, just kitty corner from the Federal Courthouse. You'll find great coffee and even better breakfast, lunch, and bakery items seven days a week from 6.30 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. This week, Josiah's is tempting your taste buds with a delicious sausage and avocado omelet topped with Josiah's homemade salsa verde and served at the side of fruit and toast. What a healthy way to start your day. Be sure and stop by Josiah's Coffee House Cafe and Bakery and tell them they had your mouth watering on Kelloland Living.